Well, to talk more about Iran qualifying for the World Cup 2014 in Brazil, we're joined live from Tehran by Hamid Momeni, an Iranian national team official. Thank you very much, Hamid, for joining us. Hamid, can you tell us about the significance of Iran's win in Ulsan against the South Koreans and what was at stake if Iran lost this match or even drew? Hi, Shina. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, as you know, first of all, uh, the win against uh, South Korea gave us the top spot in the standings. And uh, we finished uh, first in the qualifiers. And that, uh, that is the first time we're qualifying to the finals of the World Cup, finishing first in the group stage. Then, um, with considering the 5-1 uh, hammering of uh, Qatar by Uzbekistan in Tashkent uh, last night, if we hadn't won the game, we would be third in the standings, meaning that we had to play Jordan from the other group in the Asian uh, uh, playoff and that uh, after winning that game we had to play the representative from South America which may be Venezuela, uh, Chile, Peru or Uruguay uh, which I think is uh, going to be a very difficult game for, for any Asian team so uh, practically on paper there aren't any good chances for the Asian representative to, uh, to beat the South Americans and uh, book a berth in the finals of the World Cup so that was very important for the Iranian football uh, fans and uh, for the Iranian football team uh, to qualify directly to the World Cup. Thank you. Well, Hamid, it looks like Iran now has a rising superstar, Reza Uchanejad. He's had an exceptional performance in, uh, ever since joining the national team. He's actually scored in three of the matches so far and crucial goals for Iran. Can you tell us about this player and about the prospects he has? Uh, well, I, I do agree with you. He's, uh, he's a rising star for the Iranian team, although he's uh, joined us uh, very recently. Reza is a former Netherlands under-19 national team player, but after uh, receiving invitation from Carlos Queiroz and Iran national team to play for his homeland team, uh, he, he was keen uh, to, to play for, uh, for the Iranian team and put on the Iranian jersey for the rest of his uh, uh, national team duty. Uh, you know, in the last three games, he has scored uh, three important uh, goals. Uh, he played a very pivotal role in our qualification to the World Cup, uh, scored the two winning goals against Qatar and last night against South Korea. And I'm uh, pretty much sure Reza is going to be among uh, our top uh, stars next year in Brazil alongside uh, Ashkan Dejage, who unfortunately missed the last three matches due to a severe ankle injury. Thank you, Hamid. Very briefly, because we're really short of time, Iran have come a long way from their last appearance in the World Cup in 2006. They missed the World Cup 2010 in South Africa. What is the task of the Iranian team now? Can we put our feet up and relax and enjoy the ride or no? Well, it's uh, very clear. We, we have a year until the World Cup. It's going to be next year uh, in June in Brazil. So uh, what is expected from the Football Federation is to, uh, is to arrange friendly matches with top flight teams of the world. Uh, this is our fourth appearance. In the last uh, three appearances, we experienced a bitter exits in the, uh, in the group stage. So the minimum expectation from the Iranian national team is to qualify from the group stage and uh, be among the last uh, 16 and uh, hopefully even do better and advance further in the competition. Thank you very much, Hamid Moumini, Iranian national team official, joining us from Tehran.